Hey everyone, I'm Brian Kaiser, CTO of Huddle. Huddle is a sports platform that helps coaches and athletes win with video and smart analytics. We got started about 10 years ago with myself and two partners coming out of the University of Nebraska Lincoln. And working with the Husker football team, we realized there's this very real need around the distribution and analysis of coaching content. But something interesting happened. When we started to build this product, we realized this need existed so much more broadly across every level of athletics and across every sport. And so we pivoted and started to build a more generic platform that has now become Huddle. And lots changed since then. Huddle is now an industry standard. We work with coaches and athletes from around the world. 99% of football teams in the US use our platform, but also across every sport and every level of competition. For example, all 20 English Premier League teams use our software, and actually 29 out of 30 NBA teams also use Huddle. So what's a common workflow look like? Picture for a second yourself. You're a high school basketball coach. It's game day. You set up your camera, or maybe you film directly within the Huddle app. At the same time, an assistant coach or maybe a parent are actually taking stats during the game. Now, part of the magic of Huddle is during the game, this video and these stats are flowing up to our system in real time, being processed and synchronized together, so that when you step off the court as a coach, you have immediate access to both the qualitative analysis on top of your video, but also the quantitative analysis on the associated stats. You're able to make comments, notes, and corrections directly on top of the video and that data, and share it immediately out to your athletes for coaching. Now, we've been incredibly fortunate to grow on the backbone of Amazon Web Services. We now have over 4.5 million active and engaged coaches and athletes on our Huddle platform across over 130,000 teams worldwide. We actually catalog and serve over 2 billion unique video files on S3 and CloudFront and service over 10,000 requests per second through our public API. And these numbers are just growing rapidly. In fact, during our fall sports season, we actually ingest and encode over 35 hours of video per minute into our platform, thanks to the scalability that Amazon offers us. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm a pretty big AWS fanboy. It's probably pretty clear for me standing up here. And we've been on them since basically the very beginning. Back when it was just S3 and EC2. Nowadays, we use over 20 services broadly across the entire platform and across all of our clusters. And we can really attribute a lot of our success and our scale to Amazon Web Services, and I truly believe that. I'd like to walk you through two examples of how some recent Amazon services have really had a large impact on the business side of our company. So we dealt with a problem that I'm sure a lot of you can relate to. We want to make smart, data-driven decisions. But it was challenging. We have so many disparate data sources, right? We've got our billing data in Zora. We have our customer service data in Zendesk. We have multiple analytics tools, internal audit log and tracking. And it was hard to bring it all together. So we started to develop an internal data warehouse on top of Hive. Right around that time, Amazon released Redshift. And we thought, you know, let's give this a go. We'll give it a try. Honestly, we were blown away. We found that it was faster, cheaper, Maybe most importantly, it was more accessible to our company. Honestly, it's been one of the most successful deployments internally that we've ever done. When I was prepping for this presentation, I pulled some internal metrics. I found that over 50% of our 450 employees had actually written and run queries directly on top of Redshift themselves. 50%. That's truly making data analytics available to everyone, and it's changed the way that we do business in such a positive way. Another challenge that we dealt with was dealing with player tracking data. Now, this data is incredibly valuable to our teams, but it's tricky. It's large. It's very dense. It requires a lot of processing and smoothing before we can use it in visualizations and machine learning systems. And it would arrive to us in very kind of spiky workflows. And all this made balancing the cost and processing time really challenging for us. We were able to design a very simple, but yet highly scalable pipeline using Elastic Container Service and Lambda to solve this problem in a very straightforward manner. And one of the things that I found really interesting about this was actually using Lambda as this sort of feedback loop, where we can look at the output of the pipeline, the processing time, the queue length, and many other factors, and adjust the cluster to help balance those two constraints that I talked about. It's really been an impactful change for us in how we view processing large amounts of data. So what's next for Huddle? We have a very lofty vision. We want to capture and bring value to every moment in sports. And we truly feel like we're uniquely positioned to do that and bring analytics to everyone. 
We work with some of the most elite organizations in the world, but also with the long tail of amateur athletics. What we want to understand is what actually makes the best coaches and teachers the best. And to that effect, we're developing a product we call Huddle Insights. And we're working with several professional teams on this. And the goal of Huddle Insights is to really help the computer understand what a coach sees and what these analysts actually understand, the minute details that make the best coaches truly the best, and to do that through advanced machine learning. And this is an audacious goal, and it's incredibly challenging. And honestly, we're just getting started with it. We're seeing a lot of early success. And so I'd like to kind of walk you through how we're using Amazon to do that and some of the inputs into our machine learning system. One input that we're looking at is something that we call pitch control. Pitch control is a view of the soccer field that takes into account things such as player position, ball position, velocity, and even actually individual characteristics of the athletes, such as their acceleration, reaction time, and top speed of each individual athlete, and to give them this holistic view of the soccer field that really helps the computer and the analysts understand open space and compactness. These are critical inputs and things that coaches look at subconsciously to understand the game and the flow and positioning of athletes. We even allow the analysts to do what-if scenarios, running simulations about moving players on the pitch and understanding the impact of those movements. Another piece that we're using is something we call past probability map. This is a really interesting view where at any given moment in the game, we can look at what the potential passing opportunities are, what their outcomes will be, and simulate them. This is another one of those views that's really important to give teaching back to the athletes and understand missed opportunities and ways they could further advance the possession with different passes. We have a long way to go, honestly, and our eventual dream is to bring this to all sports at every level of competition. We truly feel that it's an exciting time for sports analytics for Huddle. Thank you all and enjoy the summit.